You can do three back ticks, add your text, and three back ticks. That's one way. The other one is I'm talking about one back tick, this second back tick. So now this one does the same as that one. The only difference is that this one is just one word. So now here, if I copy this, and this is cool for new lines, lots of mm -hmm. new lines here, right? You copy this, you paste it, and now when you hit enter, you will get this box and giving the chance of copying easily, which is why we say, hey, share the code like that. So we don't have to kind of like select and stuff, especially on the phone, it's very difficult. But if you have a button here to copy, it's very cool because we can just grab it, paste it and help you. Now, if you do only one word on my end or in the computer, you might probably not see the difference that much. You will see that here it is normal text. This one is highlighted somehow. And this one is normal text again. In a phone, that looks a little bit better. You can see it more, the difference between those things. But in a computer, you can, I cannot tell the difference. But basically, those are the two things. Now, if you don't want to be typing the back ticks or it's difficult to do, you can type some text and you can select it and right click on the computer and go to the formatting and you can use monospace or use the control shift M. If you have some selected text and you hit the hotkey, it would just add the thing. And when you send it over, it is gonna be the same as the box. Does that make sense? So in any case, those are the different ways how we like sharing the, the code in the Telegram chat because it um, help us copy quickly and then you can just, uh, we can just paste it and try to help you easily.